heathens and welcome to my channel. I am Beauty Heathen and my channel is dedicated to the exploration of paganism through the medium of cosmetics. If you enjoy this subject matter or find my content of interest, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and set the bell to all to be notified of when I upload new videos. In today's episode we will be discussing the subject of the crystal ancestralite which, while doing this research, I've come to figure, I may need that. <laughs> um, don't mind me, just trying to get a little bit organized. Today has been one of those days, man. You know those days where everything is going crazy and not much is going your way? Yeah, that's the kind of day it's been. So, today is a bit less scripted and a, more, a bit more um, reading from a website, because today is a long one. I'm recording this at 9 o'clock at night, so <laughs> it, it's been a long day. Um... Ancestralite is similar to the crystal Herkimer, uh, not Herkimer, Hematite, which I think I have one here. Let me see. Again, I put my hand into that stupid freaking... I did mention it's been one of those days, right? Yeah, I keep putting my hand into a, one of the brushes I use to prep the head, and I keep getting my hand all messy. Where's my cloth thing? <sighs> See, you get all the fun of hearing me completely and totally unedited. And I can't see the hematite from here. So, sorry, I don't know where it is at the moment. Hematite is um, a pewter colored stone. Um, it's a very like deep silver. Primarily it's used for healing and um, grounding work. Like when you're feeling too much in your head you hold on to hematite and it's supposed to help bring you down. Um, in my previous videos and like I'm going to do right now, none of the information that I'm giving you is a replacement for medical advice or medical assistance. <laughs> Nothing I'm telling you is a is saying instead of see, seeing a doctor get this crystal, I am not one of those people. I don't know if you've been paying a lot. Ow! <laughs> I woke up with a crick in my neck, so every so often I forget that I have a crick in my neck, and I move my head too fast. I am going to use the matte rose blush from the Ulta box and as usual if at any time you want to know what these products are I just let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to link them I'm gonna try using this Wow, oh, I'm actually surprised this brush picked up that much color but let's try to mute it down a bit Um, none of this is a replacement for medical advice is basically all I'm saying. I don't know if you've heard any of the situations with some of the MLMs, but apparently there are some multi-level marketing um, groups or people who are out there selling crystals and they are out there selling them as basically a replacement 
for medical assistance or perhaps medications. And I'm going to sit here and say, don't do that. <laughs> do not listen to these people. They do not know what they are talking about. They are not medical professionals. And all they want to do is con you out of your money and put it in their own pockets. This is where we go with the difference between somebody who is a snake oil salesman and somebody who's actually giving advice. I'm actually giving you some advice. Let me see if I can. Okay. This is based off of present information. Ancestralite is a pretty new crystal to the um, healing and metaphysical world. Um, so with all of that background, let me get into this a bit. Ancestralite is known as a healer of the past. And it comes with the capability of clearing energy and grounding at the same time, simultaneously. It's no less than a blessing when it comes to healing individuals' pasts. Since the past is directly connected to the present or future, it is very important to get rid of unnecessary feelings and thoughts. And as a result, this crystal helps you make a fresh start and um, begin things anew into the realm of things that may be extremely important for a successful life. Basically, that is a very, very long-winded way of saying that um, this crystal is supposed to help you clear out things that you no longer need. Now, there's a little bit of forewarning with this. And I'm going to use, what color is this? I want to use the gold highlighter on the cheeks. Um, Ancestralite, unlike other crystals, it's not going to do the work for you. On the contrast, Ancestral Light, <laughs> it's largely meant to bring underlying issues to the surface. Which means anything that you have buried, if, you know, that you may not necessarily want to bring forth, this is going to do that. So be aware that is a little forewarning that I'm giving you. But the main reason why that's a beneficial thing is it's actually helping you truly deal with the things that are there that may be negatively impacting your life. Not a bad highlight. Um, I'm going off the page at the moment. In some medical fields, such as Ayurveda, um, especially Eastern medicine, they tend to have a very strong belief that a lot of times illness is caused by underlying spiritual issues. And sometimes, sometimes that is the truth. Sometimes underlying um, mental, emotional issues get in our way and they manifest in physical ways. 
and because of that we can start to experience different ailments and things of that nature that we may not be mainly because we may not be dealing with the things that we're trying to keep buried it all goes back to remember how I was talking about ancient animism or ancient shamanism and a lot of the times shamans and animists in communities were not only spiritual guides but also healers um, and a lot of that is because they helped you figure out what was going on and help you deal with it in today's society a lot of people are not dealing with their issues and I can kind of speak from experience on that because in the past and sometimes I'm not gonna lie even in the present I am one of those people I frequently do not deal with the things that I am going through in the moment I have the strong tendency to bury things and be like I don't have time and I don't want to deal with this right now so I get it I completely get it but this is a crystal that is going to help you deal with things that you may be unintentionally burying and bring them forward so that you can actually heal them in a real way and in a way that's going to be lasting versus if you were to bury it back down then you're not really dealing with it while I'm talking I'm trying to figure out what I want to do as a trend as a uh, base shadow um, ancestral light is one of those gemstones that's capable of clearing out old energies like I just said and clears the way for new energies to come in and the old energies don't tend to really fully go away until they are addressed and I'm speaking on that from experience I said talked in a previous video where I mentioned that I'm using the color rose quartz which is actually more of a beige color um, all over the eyes I mentioned in a previous video that I dealt with a number of unpleasant experiences in my past and growing up and not knowing how to really deal with them all I ever did was I buried them down and a few years ago they started coming to the surface in all their <laughs> wrathful splendor I guess you could say and I was finding I wasn't being able to tamp them down anymore and I started to really have not necessarily a mental emotional breakdown per se it was more a very strong call from my <laughs> my own spirit I guess you could say that was saying look you cannot keep burying this down anymore you've got to deal with it and you've got to deal with it now and we're not gonna let you bury it anymore so my own soul was kind of like crying out for healing with all of this stuff and unfortunately I didn't know about this stone at the time it probably would have helped quite a bit 
but um, it certainly was a very strong and kind of rip open your chest and pour it all out kind of situation, I guess you could say. And I'm not gonna lie, when you go through an intense, strong need to heal a lot of pain both in your past or even in past lives, this color is garnet. It's going to take time, and it's not always going to be, you know, okay, I'm dealing with it, now, then the next day you wake up and you're all better. That's not how it works. There's going to be times when you do better than others. And healing is not a linear process. Don't let anyone ever try to sell you on some sort of quick fix to heal your soul. There is none. If somebody is an actual healer, they will help you, guide you through healing yourself. Because you can only accomplish that by putting in the work. And by really turning that mirror on yourself in taking the time to view the good, the bad, and the oh-so-ugly. <laughs> but in the end, it's worth it. This stone helps you do that. So if you are somebody who's carrying a lot of inner turmoil, inner trauma, inner pain, this stone may be beneficial to you. And the stone itself is kind of a combination of hematite, which is, as I said in, earlier in the video, a kind of pewter silver color, and a deep red color. And it's supposed to help you open your chakras. It's supposed to help you, especially the base um, chakra and I think the sacral chakra. I think it was like the bottom three. I always get the order mixed up, so forgive me on that. Um, I in my kind of rush to get things started. I didn't lay things down very well today. I messed up and I put down the um, eye base over foundation. So because of that, the eyeshadows aren't acting as well as they normally do. So. Also, forewarning, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in for the very first video, the very first time, do not go based off of how cosmetics react on these heads as to how they will act on normal skin. These heads have no skin texture, so there's nothing gripping onto the pigments or the cosmetics in any way, make, shape, or form. Um, part of the instruction of these heads is to spray them with a coat of hairspray, which I do every time. And before I start the video, I put down a layer of foundation, the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD in dark chocolate, at least was until I run out of it. I have other shades, but, um, and after that I put down, um, the Becca Hydra Mist setting powder to try to give the cosmetics the best possible shot that they have to stick to the head. If you go way back in earlier videos that I did um, end of December, early January, 
before I started using this technique, I was putting the foundation on while rolling and everything, and I never put down a layer of powder, so the heads were bright and shiny, and nothing, nothing worked well, and that, over time I've just kind of adopted this process. Usually, I put down the NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Base in white, which I did as well this time, but I had put foundation stupidly over the eyes and I did not start with that, so the eyeshadow base is more brown because it mixed with the foundation and the powder. <laughs> AKA, I'm not starting off to a very good starting point. Anyway. Back to this. Let me see. I'm just going over the website, seeing what information is pertinent and what I may have already addressed. <laughs> okay, see this is where I'm getting into the part where I'm saying this is not a replacement for medical advice, so please do not take it that way. Ancestral light is said to be very protective and grounding, and its effects can be, I'm replacing words here, that they did not put in. Um, I'm using the color ruby on the eyes. Can be tremendously helpful in that regard. Um, being an iron-loaded material, ancestral light is believed Again, there's no proof of this, no, no evidence backing it up, but it's believed to be beneficial um, in assisting with ailments of the endocrine, renal, immune, and blood systems. But again, this is not a replacement for medical advice, and if you have these issues, for the love of God, do not think that picking up a crystal is going to automatically heal them and do not stop taking medications that you need in the hopes that a crystal will solve all your problems. That's not how it works. Just trying to get that down on the lid part. And my stupid fingers, of course, transferred it a bit. see. Ancestral light is supposed to help you deal with, it's supposed to assist you in obtaining a, some form of peace of mind. It's capable of addressing unspoken thought patterns, which falls back to that dealing thing with things you may not have dealt with previously and or wanted to deal with but are worth looking at and dealing with. Um, and it also means it's possible to get rid of guilty secrets. This precious stone also releases such thoughts and moreover, it also acts as a forgiveness stone. It performs its work and removes all such issues, and the result is basically a clean slate and a clean state of mind. Let's see, is that going down as well as I'd like? Not as well. I'll try not to be dumb for Tuesday's video. I'm not filming it tonight. It's too late. But, um, I'll try to remember to put down the eyeshadow base before putting down anything else. I'm not even going to be able to blend out the eyeshadow because I had, I laid the eyeshadow base over the foundation, so... 
I'm not going to attempt that tonight. Usually I would, but it, I know it's not going to work from previous times where I've messed up the order as well. Just trying to get the red off my finger. Um, Ancestral Light is also purported to potentially assist with anxiety as it can also combat with fear as well as different types of mental problems. Again, not a replacement for therapies or medications. It's supposed to help any such problems that can confuse a person about their reasons for being depressed. And the crystal is also said to help the users figure out the happenings or the reasonings of things at a deeper level. Um, skipping over some things that don't seem to be more <laughs> Uh, exaggerated. <laughs> some of these metaphysical sites, although they can have some good information, can also be a little bit um, woo-woo at the same time, I guess you could say. Let me see, is there a silver color anywhere? That's blue. I don't think there's one in the better London palette. I don't think. Oh, let's check that one. Nope. Let me see. The eyes are not going to come out how I intended. Yeah, there's no silvery color in here. Hmm. What, oh, what can I do? Let's see, the Violet Voss palette. Nope. Nothing silvery in here. I'm trying to do a look that coincides with the actual colors within the stone. I think that would be too dark. Let me try a little bit of this pink color. Let's see if I can dust a little bit of that on up on the upper lid. Sorry, today's video is likely to be a look fail just because I messed up the order. It was one of those nights. Well, the pink color is working pretty well. Not great, but pretty well. This is a um, Violet Voss Essentials palette. I got this from out of a boxy charm. I'm also going to run that pink color down at the eye line. Ironic, this is coming out kind of like a Valentine's look that wasn't intentional, but. Mm, we're going with it today. I frequently watch and listen to Raw Beauty Christie, and one thing she always says is if it doesn't look right, just keep going. <laughs> Eventually it'll kind of come together, although not tonight. It's kind of looking more like a raccoon. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. <sighs> Oh well. It's okay. Oh, you moron. <laughs> ah. What did I take in out? An eyeshadow from out of one of the bo the first boxy charm thing I ever got. And what color is it? Freaking silver. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can kind of sort of maybe potentially 
salvage this to some extent. I'm going to take this on a brow um, brush mainly because this tends to be a very almost gelatinous eyeshadow. not horrible, but it's not good either. Irony of all of this. I had it right in front of my face. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's kind of a putty, almost... But again, it wouldn't react like this on skin. <sighs> of course, I went and brought it too far. <sighs> no computer, you cannot sleep on me now. I'm already failing the look. Don't make me fail the rest. This is the one part of this eyeshadow that I don't really care for is the texture of it. It makes it really, really difficult to apply on these heads. And I think had I just done things in the right order, this wouldn't be happening quite so badly. Try a little bit of a stamping motion. Nope, it's just not working. Sorry guys. It worked kind of okay on here, but the moment I tried to put it on here, it's just making nothing more than a mess. So, it's better that I try to, I just stop with the eyes and try to put on some sort of lipstick because this is just getting to be one really big look fail mess but um let's see I think I'm going to try this pewtery color on the lips I'll try to load up this brush mainly because I know the moment I start applying it I'm going to get foundation on it and going back for more will only taint the palette. This is the J Cat lip palette. I got this at Ulta. I use it frequently. When I don't use this, I use the lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics, which I highly, highly recommend. They are beautiful. I am not affiliate. I am not paid to say that. I'm giving you just my honest review from it, because everything I have, I've paid for out of my own pocket. And sometimes it helps just to hear some recommendations. Okay, let's try to fix that lower lip a bit. Nothing quite came out the way I intended it to today. But, um, I 
hope you found the information about Ancestrolite a little helpful. And if you happen to purchase one and find it of benefit, please do let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, and with all of that said, I apologize for today's <laughs> video not being up to my normal snuff. <sighs> oh well. Until next time, which will be Tuesday, with a much better video, I promise. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I wish you all brightest blessings, and blessed be. Bye.